Hello and welcome to my discussion on the pedigree of Timberlake, who will probably go off as one of the more popular choices in the Kentucky Derby, depending on how he fares in his final derby prep race. So let's talk about his pedigree. Now, Into Mischief is one of those sires who you can breed to a router or sprinter and you'll get a router or sprinter. It just depends on the dam that you breed him to. And Pinup is a router. Uh, first of all, she's by looking at Lucky, who I believe is a route influence. He won the Preakness Stakes, he won the Haskell Stakes, and his leading active money earner this year is a horse named Pounds, who is a turf router, although he's only one up to a mile. Pinup's half sibling, Thomas Chippendale, had a successful career in Europe, and he won two races that are important to look at. Thomas Chippendale won the Hardwick Stakes back in 2013, and that was a 12 for long race. And back in 2012, he also won the King Edward the Seventh Stakes, which was also a 12 for long race. So that's all you need there to show that Timberlake is probably a horse that can get nine or 10 furlongs. But if you wanted more evidence, you can look back to Jude. Now Jude was paired up with Sadler's Wells, and together they produced All My Loving, the second dam of Timberlake. Before that though, they also produced a full sister named Yesterday. Yesterday was also a successful router back in Europe, and back in 2003, she was actually second in the Epsom Oaks, which was also a 12 for long race. It's at least one of the top three races in Europe for three-year-old fillies, and she only lost that race by a neck back in 2003. The winner was Casual Look, but it says here Casual Look only won by a neck, so I believe that's all there is to it. Uh, Timberlake is sired by Into Mischief, who sired a Kentucky Derby winner already in Authentic, and Timberlake is also the son of Pinup, who is a half-sister to Thomas Chippendale, a multiple group stakes winner at 12 furlongs. And as I said, the stamina just gets deeper down the dam line. Second on the dam line of Timberlake is All My Loving, who was a full sister to Yesterday. So there's plenty of route pedigree in Timberlake. I believe he could get 9 furlongs, I believe he could get 10 furlongs, and if he loses going forward, I don't think it'll be because of his pedigree. I think there's plenty underneath. Depending on how he does in his final derby prep race, he could become one of the favorites. Before we go, we're going to take a look at his Rebel Stakes win. Now you can see Timberlake is coming up on the outside of this race. His jockey is wearing mostly white, and he's five wide, and right here, He's gonna, he's, he's running on his wrong lead, but, you know, he's coming off a small layoff. He ran in the Breeders' Cup Juvenile, and then he didn't run until the Rebel Stakes on February 24, and he did switch leads, so he is running on his right lead right now, and he's pulling clear slightly at the end over common defense, and I know it wasn't a flashy win, but it was his first start off as a small layoff. Most of the connections pointing towards the Kentucky Derby are not aiming to peak their horse in their first start of the year. I think you can forgive the fact that it wasn't a flashy performance. Timberlake is an interesting horse on the Derby Trail. He's got a great pedigree for going longer. I'm interested to see how he does moving forward.